Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters in Christ, if someone makes you sad all the time, in such difficult times, it is necessary to turn to faith and remember three important points. What God always wants to tell you. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, then subscribe now. We try to improve your life through our videos. God's love as a foundation. Our relationships should be rooted in the love of God. If someone continuously inflicts pain or hurt upon you, it's essential to remember that God's love is the ultimate source of strength. In 1 Corinthians 13, 4, 7, we are reminded that love is patient and kind, not envious or boastful. God's love is a reflection of how we should treat one another in our relationships. Therefore, if someone consistently hurts you, it may be time to assess whether their actions align with the love and grace that God encourages in our lives. Seeking guidance through prayer. In times of distress and hurt, prayer becomes our most potent tool. We should turn to God in prayer seeking his wisdom and guidance. Philippians 4, 6-7 reminds us to pray about everything and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard our hearts and minds. Through prayer, we can discern whether the hurtful actions of our partner are a test of our faith or a sign that the relationship may not be in alignment with God's plan for our lives. Forgiveness and Redemption God's role in our relationships also emphasizes forgiveness and redemption. Ephesians 4.32 urges us to be kind and compassionate, forgiving one another, just as God forgave us through Christ. While it may be challenging, forgiving someone who consistently hurts us is a reflection of God's boundless mercy. It doesn't mean we should tolerate ongoing mistreatment, but it offers a path to healing and the possibility of redemption for both parties involved. When faced with a relationship where someone continually hurts us, let us remember that God's love, prayer, and the principles of forgiveness and redemption should guide our actions. Seek His wisdom, pray for clarity, and, if necessary, have the courage to seek guidance from trusted spiritual leaders or counselors. God's plan for your life includes healthy, loving, and nurturing relationships that honor His love and grace. Trust in Him to lead you on the path that aligns with His divine will. May God's love and wisdom guide your relationships and may his grace bring healing and restoration where it is needed most.